Everybody wants the gold. Everyone wants the freedom. Everyone wants the success. Everyone wants to give themselves this amazing dream life that you hear everyone talk about on YouTube. You hear all the influencers, you hear all the speakers talk about it, have success, have freedom, et cetera, et cetera. Everyone wants it. So the question is why you? In this video, which is one of the most important videos that I'm gonna share on this channel, I'm gonna give you three things that you must have, three assets that you must have in your life if you're going to acquire freedom, if you're going to give yourself the life that you truly deserve. The key to giving yourself the life you want is being better than the competition. Because if everybody wants the same things and if everybody's moving towards this mark, supposedly, at least in thought, everyone's thinking they want freedom, what separates those who have the freedom versus those who don't, right? If everyone wants the same goals, if everyone wants to be in the same place, the, the wanting at the end of the day is not actually the thing that's gonna get you there, right? Like wanting isn't gonna help you. <laughs> wanting isn't gonna help you make it happen. But the thing that you have to aim for, the thing that's gonna turn the key for you, the thing that's going to turn the keys to your life is aiming to be the best, okay? It's aiming to literally be the best at whatever it is that you set your mind to, a highly leveraged skill, being the best at that, and relentlessly pursuing whatever you can to be the best in that area and pursue within that area. Pursue mastery in that area. Pursue success in that area. Pursue a top skill set. Be the best. Now, the best is a very broad idea. The best is a broad concept. The best doesn't literally mean be number one. It doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean be absolutely number one at everything that you do because that, there's no way to measure that, right? Like in sales, I believe that I'm one of the best people, one of the best sales pros in remote sales. I genuinely believe that hand over my heart before God. Like I believe that I'm one of the best. Am I the best? No. It's not a question that I'm actually the best. But in my head, I pursue mastery so aggressively that within my reality, I am the best and that's how I exist. I exist performing as and seeing myself as the best in this industry, as the best in this space. And that's where my freedoms come from. My freedom has come from me holding a standard of, I will be the best, all right? And I execute on this in my day-to-day -day life. I execute on this for my clients. I execute on this for my people. Okay, there's three things that you need to be the best. Three things you need to focus on. That's skill set, that's consistency, and that's performance. Skill set, consistency, and performance. If you can dial in these three things, and you have to do all three of them, there's, there's no, like, do two out of three, do one out of three, you have to get all three of these things correctly. If you can master these three things, you will have success, and you will be on track to being the best. And again, the idea of being the best doesn't always mean that you're going to end up being number one in your field. Like in basketball, not everyone can beat LeBron James, but you can have a massive amount of success in basketball without being LeBron James. All right, you have a massive amount of success giving yourself a life of, a life of complete freedom, a, an exceptional life where you have an amazing legacy playing basketball without being LeBron James. My skill set, sales. I've given myself a bunch of freedom. I'm on, I'm on track right now to make a quarter of a million dollars this year. More as we scale and grow our business. But as of right now, I'm on pace to make a quarter of a million. Why am I on pace to do that? It's because I obsessed over being the best and I invested in a skill set that, that, that allowed me to perform as the best in my life. And that was sales. That was investing in my sales skill set and being the best that I could in sales. The first pillar that you need, the first aspect of being the best is your skill set, okay? Skills pay the bills. Remember this statement, skills pay the bills. The cream is always gonna rise to the top. And that's something I firmly believe in. The best people are always going to perform the best way over a set period of time, okay? The best people over a set period of time will continue to perform the best. Right? That's what separates people who are the best versus people who plateau, versus people who are not consistent. And consistency is next, but versus people that, are, that, that suffer and that struggle and that never get to where they want to be. People who are the best in terms of skill set continue to perform the best. Right? It's consistency, it's performance, but that only happens, consistency and performance, which is next, will only happen if you have worked on your skill set to the point where you can be consistent and you can perform well. I see a lot of sales pros. I talk to people like this in our free community. We have a free community called Quantum Level. You can join below. I teach sales. I teach objections. I teach how to handle objections. I teach leadership. I teach a lot in this community and I give it away for free. 
And in this community, my DMs are flooded with people who want opportunities, who want offers, who want to get on jobs, who want to make money in the sales space, who want to pursue freedom. Everyone says the same thing. Yes, I'm here to take action. I'm here to grow. We have this question in the community where I ask people, are you here to sit on the sidelines or here to take action and grow? Every single person answers me, I'm here to take action and grow. Do you know how many people post in the group out of the people who join? Like 10 to 20 people are the regular posters. We've got close to 750 members right now. Most of those people come in, they show up taking a bit of content and then just ghost. That's the truth. And it's not just my community, so it's not a marketing thing. This is in other people's communities too. I have many friends that are running multiple six and seven figure businesses. They have communities, they're helping people, they're giving free value. And there's always this small group of people who actually show up and contribute and participate and go for it and show up to trainings and become the best and use the resources and use the material. And then everyone else just goes dark and stays silent. Right? And out of those people who stay silent, most of them aren't showing up and doing the work. Why? It's because building a skill set's hard. If everyone built the skill set and was the best, you know, then the bar would just increase and increase and increase. More people would have success, but most people don't. So one of the things that separates you from the competition and that makes you the best is your skill set. What happens is when you work on your skill set and you work on building the right skill set, you begin to exist, what I wrote here in my notes, is you begin to exist in a category of success that is essentially gonna create a gap between yourself and between those who have little to no leverage. That's a very interesting idea. So what this means is that over time, as you keep working on your skill set, and this takes time, right? Like the guys I train, train with me for up to six months. So it's not like, you know, we do two weeks, oh my God, I learned some cool information, watch some nice videos, and I'm ready to go and make all the money in the world. No, it takes time. So my guys come in and train with me, and what you see over time is a skill gap. You see that the people that they started with, right? Like I know my guys in my program now started with people when they were coming into my training program. They started with a lot of guys who weren't investing in themselves, just people who were sales pros, who were just messing around. And those guys who invested in themselves, my, my people I train, they practice and they get better. And over time, you can see the skill gap begin to, to grow. And you can see that the best guys start to get even better and the people who aren't good start to get worse, right? Because if you can work on your skill set and if you become very good, you're gonna exist in a literal category, a category of success that most people will never ever achieve, right? This happened to me. When I got into the training program that, that I was in last year, I did, invested in a sales mentorship and it helped me get very, very good at handling objections and leadership. And I invested in that program and I put in more work than anyone else in the program. I was showing up to all the sessions, taking notes religiously. I was role playing four or five times a day. I was tracking everything on my calls. I was watching my calls back. I was taking notes on my calls. Like I put in more work than anyone else. And literally within about three to four weeks, you could see a vast difference in my skill set versus everyone else in the programs. You could see a clear difference. In fact, I started helping out some of the people in that program, started coaching them for free because they weren't getting so much time from the coaches because it was a big program. So I was giving them more of my time because I love helping people and I love sales. I love training and it made me better as a sales pro, right? So within a skill set, here's how it's going to look. Within a skill set, you're going to have primary skills. And then under that, you're gonna have sub skill sets. So as an example, within my skill set, for me, like the primary skill set I have is sales, right? Just, I'm good at sales. I understand how to sell people. I understand how to lead a conversation. I understand how to create a gap. I understand how to find someone's pain points. I understand how to bring out fear, bring out desire, all that. I understand sales. But then under that, the sub skill for me, the sub skill set is objection handling. So when someone gives objections and says, hey, I wanna think about it, I wanna take some time, I have the skill set and I have the tool set to understand how to lead them and to handle their objections and get them to make a buying decision instead of taking time and putting it off. That, and that's a thing I've trained on very aggressively. And now all the guys that I work with, the sales professionals that I train, they work on this as well and that becomes their primary skill set. Or I should say, excuse me, their sub skill set within the primary skill set of sales, right? So you have a primary skill set which again, I would recommend to everyone is sales. I think sales is the best skill set to have for young men because sales gives you the ability to fuel other business projects and fuel connections, fuel opportunities in the future. My network has expanded. I've been in sales now, officially in sales for coming up close to, to coming up on two years, like officially being in sales, basically a year and a half now. And the network that I've had has greatly expanded from when I was a dating coach, right? Sales just rapidly expands your network because sales is purely about making money and closing deals. So everyone who's in sales wants to make money, right? Whereas everyone who's in other industries, maybe fitness, they just want to be fit. But if your goal is cash and your goal is freedom, sales and money will give you freedom. Ultimately, it's a direct line to freedom. That's why I love the sales skill set. So for me, sales was my primary skill set that I built and learned and 
invested in, trained in, and got very good at. And then objection handling became my secondary skill set, along with some leadership, communication, things like that. And now I have coaching as well as a skill set, a primary skill set. And that's why I'm helping sales pros get very good and make way more money, hit months where they're making 10K per month consistently, right? It's because this skill set has fueled so much in my life. So number one is skills pay the bills. You have to have a skill set. You have to dial it in. You have to be very, very good if you want to be the best. And that happens when you train with the right people. Number two is consistency, okay? This is the second point. I want, I'm gonna leave you with a quote here. This is from me, something I believe in. The man who loves the boredom of the grind is the man who will succeed despite all odds. This was instrumental in my success. And again, I'm on the journey. Like, I'll be very transparent. I, I'll say this openly, I'm not a millionaire. I am not on track to make a million dollars this year. I'm on track to make a quarter of a mil, which is fucking awesome, right? And I have a lot of freedom. I'm able to invest in most coaching programs I want within you know any, any program I want I can spend on it. Um, I'm able to give back to my family. I just paid for a good chunk of my sister's wedding. You know, I'm able to invest a lot in, in things that I want in my life because of this freedom that I have. Um, but the reason I have this freedom is because of consistency. Consistency is built in the dark. Consistency is built in the boredom. And there's this idea I love, it, and it's consistency is the bridge that lies in the way of your success, right? So let's say that you're starting here, which is not having success. You're starting here, maybe you're stuck at two, three, or like 5K per month, a job you don't like. You, you know, you're not in a position where you're having a lot of success. You don't have a lot of freedom. And over here is freedom, everything that you could want more. Freedom meaning you're able to give back to your family. You're able to, you know, provide for the people that you care about the most and give to yourself. Travel flexibility, invest how you want, right? So what lies in between that in this, in this gulf? What lies there is a bridge for you to cross. You have to cross the bridge to the other side. And what's on the other side of it, it's freedom. But what is the bridge itself? The bridge is consistency, right? So skill set is like what kicks you off. It's like, okay, you have a path, skill set. Here's the skill. Let's say you learn sales. Sales is going to be my vehicle to freedom. This is how I'm going to make money. That's how I'm going to give myself freedom. This is how I'm going to free myself and how I'm going to free my family and how I'm going to be the person in my, in my family and that's going to give them the best future, right? There's that. And then on that bridge, what do you have on the bridge? On the bridge is, is consistency. It's doing the same things over and over again. It's boring. It's not going to be fun. And this is the thing that separates people who are the best versus people who, you know, stay at the bottom. Seriously, the people who rise to the top, part of it's skill set, a huge part of it, you have to be good. But then is also consistency, doing the same thing over and over. You give me a guy who has an amazing skill set but is not consistent, I'm not going to work with him. The people that I train in my program, you can always see who's going to rise to the top. It's the people who show up day in and day out who do the same thing over and over and over and over again without giving up, without quitting. That's the consistency. And every single time, this is a trend I've seen in my life, every single time I've prioritized consistency, I've seen my income increase. I went from making 5K a month to 10K, 10K per month around 2018. That was my first income jump. And what I saw then was me going from being in a position where, where I was like stagnating, where I wasn't really making much, and I was very inconsistent. Sometimes I'd work harder, sometimes I wouldn't. And then I went aggressively and built my first digital product. I built a digital product online. It was a dating course that I decided to sell. And I built my YouTube channel aggressively. I was shooting and putting out videos two to three times a week. I didn't stop for close to a year. We made a bunch of money. It was my first six figures in that year, 2018 to 2019. Amazing consistency. Then it dipped again. And when my consistency dipped, my earnings dipped. Then I went back to consistency started putting in the work again, taking aggressive, aggressive action recently. And then what did I do? I scaled from being at the 100K mark to now being at the quarter mil mark, right? Hitting the 200K plus mark, doubling my income. Why was I was able to do this? It's because of consistency. I honed it on my skill set. I became lethally good at sales, like so good at sales. You guys don't even understand. If you've seen my sales trainings and watch my calls, you know that I, I walk this walk and I talk it. I'm not just, I don't just say this stuff to say it, but I literally walk it. I'm not just talking it, I walk it, I should say, right? And and for me, being being good at sales literally was a part of a ritual of consistency. It was boring. It wasn't, it, I'll be real, it wasn't fun. Like those long nights where I was just sitting out, taking information, taking notes, just observing um, my coaches, my mentors are just learning and learning and learning. Those times weren't fun, to be honest, but I stuck in it, right? I stuck in it and I continued to pursue it without giving up and that consistency led to me having success on the other side. So in this game, in this game of sales, in this game of success that you want, the freedom you want for yourself, the freedom you want for your life, 
um, with the people I train, I'm always emphasizing consistency. Every single time I've emphasized and prioritized consistency in my life, I have seen results and my life has changed. My life has changed dramatically. And I'm in a phase of consistency now. We're in a phase of building. I have the right people around me. I have the right team around me. I have great people in my corner and I'm prioritizing consistency. And I know out of the other side of that, success will happen, success will come. And lastly, the third point, and here's what I want you to, to remember, performance. It's not enough just to be consistent because you can be consistent in your practice. You can be consistent in how you invest in yourself. You can show up and do the work, but you have to also execute. You have to be able to execute. And if you're a sales pro, I want you to understand that this is where your cash is going to come from. Your freedom is going to come from your ability to perform and produce results. At the end of the day, that is where freedom will come from. Getting in the game, getting in the game and performing, getting in the game and closing, consistently producing at a high level is again the third piece of what's going to separate those who rise to the top and those who create a legacy, those who create massive freedom versus those who sink to the bottom. And there is a gulf. There absolutely is a gap. There 100% is. And I'm not saying this lightly. I'm not saying this like some nice YouTube motivation. There is a literal gap between the people who rise to the top and the people who get everything they want in their life and more and those who sink to the bottom. And the third piece of this after skill set, after consistency is performance. You have to show up and do the work. That's it. I can, like the guys in my training program, the guys that I train in QL Pro, I can train them all day. We can talk theory all day. They can role play and train objections with me and get good. And, and we get damn, they're getting damn good. Trust me. That can happen all day. But if they're not showing up and actually putting in the work in reality to bring in cash, to hit their KPIs, if you don't know what KPIs means, you should know. Google KPI if you don't know what it means. But to hit KPIs, um, hit, smashing the close rate, collecting cash every single month, if they're not doing that, the third piece is missing and freedom won't come. It will not happen. Freedom is not guaranteed. It is not. It's these three things, your skill set, your consistency, and your performance. When the game is alive, what happens? Like when you're in the field, when you're actually ready to produce, when you're on the court, as it were, the court of sales, you know, for our, our industry, high ticket closing, what happens? Do you perform? Do you rise to the top? Okay. Because the thing that's interesting is most people don't have any of these three. Here's what I'm going to leave you with. Most people don't have any of these three. I'm not kidding. It's not like most people have one out of three. Most people have two. No, no, no. It's not that difficult to be the best. It, it really is not difficult. I'm not, I'm not saying it's easy, but it's very simple. You just have to work on your skill set religiously. Be consistent and don't give up. Do not give up. You can't give up. You have to keep going. No matter what, you must keep going. You can have lulls. You can have plateaus. You can feel shitty, but you can't give up. You have to keep going, right? Through highs and lows, you have to keep going. And then number three is performance. You have to perform and execute and make the money, right? Which happens when you have a good skill set and you've consistently worked on it. You will make money. It's a fact. You can have these three. If you have these three, you're going to be better than most people. You, you will be better. And I don't, I don't mean like this lightly, like a cute little, oh, you're going to have some success. No, you're going to be top 1%. You will be an exceptional individual, as I am. I am top 1%. <laughs> Not a question. I am a top 1% individual. And I'm, grow I'm getting even more. I want to be top 1% of the 1%. That's what I want to do in my life. I'm already in the 1%. And I want to be top 1% of 1%. The question is, what, you, what do you want and how bad do you want it? If you want to outlast your competition, you must follow this three-part recipe. That's it. Sales is the vehicle that's going to give you freedom. Sales is the thing that will give you success. Sales is how I made my money. Sales is how I continue to make my money. It's how the people that I mentor, the people I train, how I help them make their money. The question now is you. Like, where are you going to go and what are you going to do to give yourself the freedom? That's it. Click the link below if you want to join our school community where I train you every week in sales. We have weekly trainings. Um, I break down how to handle objections, how to lead, how to create the freedom that you want in your life. That's all. That's the game. Goodbye. Take care. And I will see you on our next training. Be blessed.